All right, for this lecture, I am going to review how to divide fractions. We have gone over this in class, and I know you guys took notes, but I wanted to make a video that you guys could refer back to anytime you couldn't remember the steps. So the first step is I'm going to give you an example. Oops, need a pen. So if I have two fractions and I'm dividing, whenever you are dividing fractions, the very first thing you do is you're going to change this division sign to a multiplication sign and you're going to flip the second fraction. Always flip the second fraction, not the first fraction. So the first fraction remains two thirds. The second fraction becomes 4 over 1. So you're going to use the reciprocal. After you have done that, you just multiply straight across. 2 times 4 would be 8. 3 times 1 would be 3. This is an answer. You can leave it as an improper fraction. Or you may simplify it, which means 3 goes into 8 2 times. So that's your coefficient which would be 6, so 8 minus 6 would be 2 left over. So the completely simplified answer would be 2 and 2 thirds. Let's do another one. All right, if I have 3 over 7 divided by 1 over 2. Again, step 1 is to change the sign. I'm going to write this out. Change the sign. If you're taking notes, write this down. Change the sign. So the first fraction stays the same. You change the sign to multiplication. Step two, reciprocal. Reciprocal of second fraction. Never the first fraction. So this becomes 2 over 1. Okay, multiply straight across. 3 times 2 is 6. 7 times 1 is 7. 6 over 7 would be my final answer. Right, we'll do one more of this type, and then I'll give you a change. So 1 half divided by 4 sevenths. So rewrite 1 half times 7 over 4. 7 times 1 is 7. 4 times 2 is 8. That cannot be simplified any further. All right. Now let me show you what it looks like when you're dividing, let's say, with a whole number. So what if I have 2 thirds divided by 5? Okay. Well, first, this 5 is a whole number. All whole numbers are over 1. Okay? Write that down. All whole numbers are over an imaginary Okay, so then when I'm going to rewrite this, I would say 2 thirds times, and then you do the reciprocal. Instead of 5 over 1, you would put 1 over 5. Multiply straight across. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15. Cannot reduce that any further. So my answer would be 2 over 15. Good. Um, what about mixed numbers? So if you're dividing mixed numbers, and I bet I have to lecture over this again later, but I'm still going to give you a preview of this. So if I'm dividing with a mixed number, so the mixed number can be either the first fraction or the second fraction or both. You never know. So if I have 1 and 1 half divided by 3 fourths, okay? The easiest way to do this is to make this an improper fraction first. So 1 times 2 plus 1. So that would be 3 over 2 
Then the second, you can just do the steps one and two. So this would be multiply, and then I would do the reciprocal, four over three. Now in this case, it's giving you an option to simplify here because we can cross simplify. So where this is a three and this is a three, you can divide both of those by three, which makes this a one and this a one. You can also cross simplify here because both of these numbers can be divided by two. Two divided by two would be one. Four divided by two would be two. So then I multiply straight across. Two times one is two. And then you have one times one is two over one. Well, any number over one is just that number. So simplified, one and one half divided by three fourths would be two. You understand that what that means is three fourths can fit into one and a half two times. That's another way you can think about it. Okay, let's do another mixed fraction. And I'm just making these up, so hopefully they work out. What if I have five sixths divided by, let's say one and two thirds. This is, see if it'll work. Okay, so in this case, the mixed fraction is the second part. So again, the first thing I'm gonna do is change this to an improper. So I do three times one plus two. So that fraction's gonna be three, four, five over three. So now I just rewrite five, six times the reciprocal of this. So this is gonna be three fifths. Ha ha, it worked out again. And again, I can simplify across. We have five divided by five is one. Three divided by three is one. Six divided by three is two. So then we have one times one, which is one. Two times one, which is two. So there is your simplified fraction. All right, let me know if you have any questions or comments, or if you need help, you can comment on this video or you can send me a private message. Good luck.